Hi everyone, this is Reverend David Saki and uh, thanks for joining me. Today I just want to share with us very important things about healthy living. Now, healthy living is very important. We know that God has given us divine health for the Christian. But uh, I did a lot of research about uh, healthy living and the reason was because uh, I remember it was a few years ago, I think sometime around 2016, early 2017, I went for my uh, annual physical and I had, uh, you know, my test done, my lipid, I believe it's called, yeah, my lipid test with all my uh, blood sugar, my glucose, my A1C, uh, triglycerides, and they were off the charts. They were very, very high. You know, in the past, I used to just drink juice, you know, a lot of juice, just drinking so many things. I always felt that when you are drinking juice, because it's not soda, it's healthy but i didn't realize that that was a mistake so i was just doing a lot of uh, 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 drinking eating freely eating a lot of meat eating chicken sugar not really watching my diet and then i was shocked that my blood especially my blood sugar triglycerides were very very high so i spoke to my doctor my doctor said you know what why don't you cut carbohydrates since your blood sugar is high and you have a family history of diabetes so why don't you just do that so I decided to do that I cut carbs as much as I could but the blood sugar was still increasing increasing a1c going high and I was getting worried so then I decided to do the right thing which was to do some research and after doing the research God really really helped me now what do I mean by that my triglycerides my triglycerides which were in the past, they, they all connected to heart disease and all that. In the past, it was like 170, 174. It cut down to about 42, 30, between 39 and 42. My blood sugar was very, very high. It went down. All my numbers went down to the God, glory of God. Now, why did that happen? That happened mainly because of divine health. Because, of course, when you are healthy, it is because God has given you the health. You and I should not trust in any medicines, any uh, formulas, any doctor's uh, reports, but God. But after trusting in God, you, is, you see in the Bible, I have some verses to show you that many times God healed people divinely. And there are many times also that God also healed people through herbs. For example, when you look at Exodus chapter 15, verse 22 to 26, let's turn to Exodus chapter 15. Very, very important thing. So God... God is good. Sometimes when God wants to bless the Christian, God will bless the Christian through some information. Amen. I'll give you two examples of God giving divine healing through medicine. Amen. So let's look at Exodus chapter 15. We will start from verse 22. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea and they went out into the wilderness of Shur. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. We go into verse 26. And when, so verse 23 now. And when they came to Mara, of course, we all know it, they could not drink of the waters of Mara, Mara, for they were bitter. They were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Mara. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made for them a statute and an ordinance, and there he proved them. Verse 26. Are you... And said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. So you will see that God healed the waters through a, a tree or, or uh, what do you call it, a tree, a piece of wood, a log. Now, let me show you a very powerful one in 2 Kings. Amen. So 2 Kings chapter 20. 
this is really important to establish what okay. we are about to hear about healthy living. Amen. Second Kings chapter 20. I'll read from verse 5 to 7. Okay, so this is, okay, let's start from verse 1. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Imagine, Hezekiah is being told that he's going to die and not live. Then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, So it means that you and I through prayer can change our destiny or can change what uh, God could be even planning for us. Hallelujah. Maybe God could say that you're supposed to live 60 years. You can pray and extend your, your, your life. I see God extending your life and my life in Jesus' name. Verse 3. I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept so. So the, the prophet told Hezekiah, you are going to die. God says that it is time to die. So put your house in order. Then Hezekiah cried to God, wept so, saying, God, remember I was your servant. I was a shepherd. Remember that I'm a shepherd in your house. So how can you let me die serving you and being a shepherd? Remember what I've done for you. Then verse 4 says, And it came to pass after, or afore, Isaiah was going out of the middle court, that the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Turn again and tell Hezekiah, the captain of my people, Thus saith the Lord God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, and I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. On the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. Verse 6. And I will add unto thee, unto thy days, fifteen years. Think about it, fifteen extra years. And I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city for my name's sake and for my servant David's sake. Verse 7. And Isaiah said, take a lamp of figs. And they took and laid it on the boil and he recovered. Hallelujah. So Hezekiah had a sickness that was going to kill him. That sickness was unto death. So God told Hezekiah, uh, Isaiah to tell Hezekiah, Look, Hezekiah, you are going to die. Organize your household because it is time to die. Then Hezekiah wept so, God, remember that I was a shepherd. Remember the things I have done for you. And he cried to God. And the Bible says that Hezekiah, as he cried, God heard his prayer and then told Isaiah as he was leaving, come back, tell Hezekiah that I would heal you and you will live an extra 15 years. Then he told them in verse 7, take a lump of figs and they took and laid it on the boil and he recovered. So it is very clear that sometimes when God is healing, he sometimes does it or when he's giving divine health, he sometimes does it through herbs you realize that even the tree of life it is a fruit or it is that there are fruits of the tree of life that adam and eve were able to eat at will and that fruit was able to give them life and they could never die actually it was because of the cherub the two cherubs that covered uh, sorry the two cherubs that were protecting the garden of eden that adam and eve had to die because they were kicked out of the garden of eden and they were not able to touch the tree of life because god said uh, i'm going to kick uh, or, or send adam and eve out of the garden of eden and i'm going to put two cherubs to guard the garden of eden so that adam and eve will not go back to the garden and eat of the tree of life otherwise they'll live forever hallelujah so it's very very important to realize that many times when god wants to give us health when God wants to give us divine health, he sometimes gives us certain things that he has put on the earth for us to eat or to drink so that we will be well. So let's look at 3 John 1, 2 for someone who says, well, you know, God wants to show me piety. He wants to show me uh, 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 humility by giving me sickness. God has never given sickness to anybody and he never will. There's no sickness in heaven. Hallelujah. The devil is the author of sickness. God may allow it for a reason, but hallelujah to Jesus. No one, no one should be able to live in sickness or diseases 
at all in Jesus name amen so third John chapter 1 verse 2 beloved I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. so that is what God's will for you and I is that he wishes that you and I prosper and be in health okay so now let's look at two more verses and then we will continue. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 22. Then I'll give you some of the keys I have researched about or learned about for divine, good, healthy living. Amen. Proverbs 4, 22 says, uh, in fact, let's start from verse 20. My son, attend to my word. Incline thine ear unto my saying." Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto them that find them, and health, glory to God, to all their flesh. Hallelujah. To all their flesh. Amen. So it means that divine healing comes when God just looks after us. That's why every day I make it a point, every day I try to remember to say to God, or to say to myself, to confess, Father God, I thank you that every cell, every organ, every ligament, every bone, every nerve in my body is working divinely healthy. Because, ladies and gentlemen, you will be surprised how easy it will be for a part of a person's body to not work well. Hallelujah! So you and I must confess the, the confession of faith. The Bible says in Hebrews 10, 23, hold fast your profession of faith or hope without wavering for he that promised is faithful. Hallelujah. So you and I must continue to confess it because you and I, we can have divine health from God. Then the second level is when you get sick, then God heals you divinely. The third way is that when you, got, you get sick, then you recover through medication. Hallelujah. But God is good and he will keep all of us healthy. So I want to encourage us to start practicing these things now before the, the shutdown uh, ends. Now let me get another verse and then uh, which will make sense. Now Genesis 1 29. Now this is going to be the first thing that I recommend and that will be found in Genesis 1 29. The first thing that I recommend or I have learned to do to give divine health of course, we are still trusting God. Amen. But what I do know is that what you put into your mouth or meaning that what you eat or what you drink will determine your health, will determine how strong you are, to determine how healthy you are. Hallelujah. And also the activity. So Genesis 1 29 says, And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every creeping thing that uh, uh, moveth upon the face or upon the earth. Hallelujah. Then verse 29. Sorry, I read 28. 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the, all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. Hallelujah. So the first thing I want to encourage for divine or, or, or good health is, you'll be surprised, but eat vegetables. Now many people ah, eat vegetables. I hate vegetables. How am I going to eat vegetables? But eating vegetables are very important because Adam and Eve, before the sin, before Adam and Eve sinned, vegetables were what were given or what God told man to eat. Eat vegetables and that is what will sustain your body. It doesn't mean you should be a vegetarian. I'll get there uh, soon. But eat vegetables. No matter what you are doing, make sure that you eat vegetables because vegetables contain a lot of antioxidants, a lot of things that our body needs. And remember that God created us and created our bodies and God knows that every every uh, how do i say every vitamin every nutrient you and i need can be found in vegetables now someone will say what about protein you can get protein from vegetables also hallelujah protein from beans vegetables so 
uh, uh, it's very important that you and I get this. Now, many people might disagree, but it is very important. I'll give you some very healthy vegetables later on. But vegetables are very, very healthy because vegetables boost your immune system. Vegetables strengthen you. Vegetables uh, uh, cause you to, to, to have the right pH because for you and I to be healthy, we need our immune system to be very strong so that it can fight uh, all wrong things. It can fight uh, bacteria, it can fight viruses, it can fight so many problems and it can also fight cells being damaged and replicating where cancer comes in. Hallelujah. And then the pH, eating vegetables uh, increase your pH to the right pH because you and the pH uh, uh, 7 is uh, neutral, then after 7 is being alkaline, your body is alkaline, below 7 is acidic. Now, you and I don't want to be acidic. We want to be slightly alkaline or, or move slightly towards the alkaline side. And becoming alkaline will depend on the amount of vegetables you and I eat. Amen. And these are the things I did which dropped my numbers. I mean, I mean, triglycerides from 157 to 174 dropping to 39, 39 to 42. I mean, think about it. Cholesterol, God by God's grace, HDL, uh, uh, blood pressure in the past used to be very, very high and now it is very, very low. Hallelujah. I was able to maintain my weight. I, read, I lost about 30, over 30 pounds in a very short time and I've maintained it since 2017. Hallelujah. Whilst many people would lose weight, gain, gain it back, mine has been constant. Hallelujah. All by the grace of God and from what God has given to me. Hallelujah. A1C dropped and uh, I mean the list goes on. So these things are very, very important. Hallelujah. And the blood sugar, the A1C, imagine the doctor, the doctor told me, I mean one, one reason why I decided to do this or to do some research was that I, my blood pressure, my blood sugar was increasing, my A1C. I went to the doctor again. The doctor said, reduce your your carbohydrates i reduced it and i was only eating egg meat and certain things cut carbohydrates completely and it was still going up going up almost towards pre-diabetes and i said no 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 i went to my doctor and i said doctor you've i've done what you told me to do what should i do now then the doctor asked okay let me look at your chart it looks like you have a diabetes in your family well it's taking this course there's nothing you can do about it i said no way not with god with god i'm going to pray i'm going to trust god i'm going to walk in faith and i'm going to do what i need to do i did the research that god gave me and the, it's way down the the blood sugar a1c triglycerides all of that is down blood pressure down my blood pressure was also high uh, I believe it was in the past. I've written some of them down so I don't forget. My blood pressure was between one in the 120s, 117, 118, 120. The 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 top or the is it systolic and then diastolic was in the 70s, 74. Now sometimes it gets below 100, usually 100, 101 if it's very high. And then the bottom one it can be like six late uh, early 60s i mean god has been gracious hallelujah but this is because we are doing what god has told us to do amen so vegetables are very important my diet is almost like the the low carb mediterranean diet hallelujah and it really works amen some people go into ketone do the ketone diet there are, are ups and downs about the ketone diet when you do the ketone diet too much, you can easily get more saturated fat uh, 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 from animal products, which can increase the bad uh, 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 LDL and increase things that you don't want to increase. Hallelujah. For example, uh, um, become, so let, let me get, let me just get this straight. Okay, so for example, animal products, red meat is a danger. We all know that red meat is a big problem. So you and I want to encourage us to reduce red meat. Actually, when you go on the, the uh, is it uh, the, is it heart, uh, for heart disease, the, the website for American Heart Association or American Cancer uh, uh, Association or whatever, when you go to their website and you read 
uh, how can you prevent cancer? One of the things you hear is reduce red meat or limit your consumption of red meat. There is something we call a carcinogen. Cigarette smoking is a class one carcinogen, meaning that cancer forming. Red meat, processed red meat, packaged processed red meat is a class one carcinogen in that level. In the same way, red meat is a class one carcinogen. So I eat a lot of fish, especially wild caught salmon, but just a lot of fish. I just eat fish. Of course, you have to be careful of mercury because the, the, there's a lot of mercury in fish, but I would prefer to eat uh, uh, fish than not. One thing, if you really need to eat some red meat, lamb is very good. Why is it good? Because Jesus ate lamb. Jesus ate fish. What is the perfect dish? What did Jesus eat? Tete, what did Jesus eat? Fish. He ate fish. He ate lamb. So eat that. Even though I reduce my lamb consumption, but lamb is also very good. Hallelujah. So very important. The first thing, eat vegetables. So if you are, even if you are going to eat your rice, you are going to eat your, of course, if you have pre-diabetes or you, you, you have diabetes or your blood sugar is increasing, then uh, brown or wheat rice is important. Wheat bread. I remember in the past, you never catch me eating brown rice. You never catch me eating uh, brown bread. I wanted my white rice. I wanted my white bread. Now, and I've decided to do a, a lifestyle change. Very, very important. Amen. Now, uh, I, I'll just tell you. Yeah, so very important. So vegetables. Now, there are many types of vegetables. I'm going to have a, a, a few more of these uh, um, uh, uh, lessons or whatever you call it. Uh, 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 what, what what title what, what am i going to give it uh, a few more of these uh, nutrition uh, lessons and we're going to talk about some of the vegetables for example broccoli brussels sprouts onions parsley asparagus very very good vegetables we'll talk about some of the super fruits some of the super fruits that uh, and uh, herbs that give you anti-inflammatory uh, uh, results what do i mean by that inflammation is 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 good if it's not chronic or what, what do i mean by that if inflammation is just your immune system trying to uh, 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 fight uh, uh, problems in your body but sometimes it can overdo it and then inflammation comes and you have chronic inflammation problems but they are what we call anti-inflammatory uh, 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 vegetables fruits spices herbs very very important hallelujah and there are some things that have antioxidants that are Things that fight against cancer. Hallelujah. Very, very important. So we'll talk about some of those things later on. But let's continue. I hope we are we are um, learning something. Now, one thing I want to just touch on is what I eat for breakfast. Very important because one of the super herbs or, or super seeds or whatever, flax seed, very, very powerful very powerful antioxidant anti-inflammatory it does wonders flaxseed very very powerful now what i do in the past i used to make flaxseed porridge think about that flaxseed porridge with milk and flaxseed i heat it my daughter is now a master of it she knows how to do it it may be even better than i do hallelujah now uh, I learned from another uh, sister who um, I went to visit in, in DFW uh, and as I was doing it in this painful way, she taught me a very good way to do it, which uh, 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 makes it nice and enjoyable. Now, I have some here, flaxseed. So it has to be, uh, uh, well, it should be organic. It's good to be organic, but ground flaxseed. Uh, this is not this is the new one i have but i have one from uh is it uh something meal i can't remember but maybe later on i'll show but this is flaxseed ground you take uh, some milk and some water you put about two and a half spoons if it's for a person two and a half spoons of this ground now this is it has omega-3 fatty acids now my omega-3 fatty fatty acids are very good for the heart very good for the body essential fatty acids very very important flaxseed are super hallelujah and they have uh, uh, three grams of carbohydrates three grams of fiber and therefore net carbs is zero so actually no carbohydrates and super 
Now, if you want bowel movements, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the way to go. Hallelujah. So now, if it's just flax seeds, it's not going to work. So what I also do is I add almond flour. So two and a half flax seed and then maybe about three or three and a half uh, uh, spoons. Spoons. Tablespoons of almond flour. Mine is finished, so I'm going to get some later on. But almond flour, very, very good. And then for a nice kick or nice taste or nice flavor, coconut flour, one spoon. And then you mix it with uh, uh, um, milk and you just... You, you have to heat it for some time for it to blend together. It is going to be awesome. And I don't take sugar any longer. I take natural sugar tree, Truvia. Very, very good. It's finished now, but I'm just showing the package. Truvia, very, very powerful. Some people can use honey, but honey in moderation. I'll show you a verse that God gave us that says that eat man honey in moderation. Hallelujah. So these are very, very important, and I eat it every morning or almost every morning Titi, please take this these two back very very powerful flaxseed breakfast and you'll be you'll really be doing well amen now another thing i do which i i take on a regular basis is green tea now um green tea i have a green tea mixture which is uh now there are different types of green tea but they are very good quality green tea so I did some research because I wanted to know the good green tea. There is green tea and there is quality green tea. Now green tea has anti-inflammation -inflam or inflammatory results. And also green tea has, I found this out from uh, Dr. Joe in Texas, also has anti-aging effects. But I love this green tea. This is quality, very, very good quality and this. The very good quality green tea i don't know if you can i don't know that the, the hopefully you can see that very good so what i do is that in the morning maybe twice a day i take green tea i put you know i i, I have a big cup of green tea no sugar nothing someone can add honey honey or uh trivia that's fine stevia is also good but it's combination of the tea and uh, something else but it's also still good but trivia is very good big cup and th this is pretty big this is a big cup i don't know how to measure it but what i do is i take garlic please bring the garlic my daughter is helping me out here she is an expert but i take garlic i taught her and now she she's an expert at doing it but i have garlic and ginger now i blend garlic very little garlic. I blend it together at once. So very little garlic. Maybe half, maybe this clove or whatever you want to call it. But, or well, someone can, yeah. So this, and I, I put it in a big container. So I, I use it for several days. And this amount of ginger. So a lot of ginger compared to garlic. Thank you. So a lot of ginger compared to garlic. I blend it with some water blend it in the, in the in the blender and then turmeric is super now there have been studies that show that turmeric even kill, can can I don't, I, anyway before i continue this is a disclaimer i don't i'm not a doctor i don't know anything about medicine i this has nothing to do with cures but these are things that i use and there are studies that show that they work these turmeric has anti-cancer properties and uh, uh, anti-inflammatory properties. Fantastic. Garlic is a natural antibiotic. Hallelujah. So what I do is I, so that's what actually what I'm drinking now. I have turmeric, uh, 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 the green tea, and then about two tablespoons or two and a half tablespoons of the garlic ginger blend. And it's so nice because the, the garlic ginger plus the turmeric gives it a kick. I don't need any uh, sugar, but uh, if someone wants to take uh, uh, honey, a little bit of honey, that's fine. But these are very, very important, amen? I hope this has uh, helped you now. Some very super powerful, 
powerful herbs, spices, and, and fruit, uh, uh, vegetables, mushrooms, mistletoe are, are super. Mushrooms and mistletoe. Now, mushrooms, you can get them all the time in the store. Now, mistletoe is not as easy, but mushrooms have super anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory effects. Now, someone will say, why is he talking a lot about anti-cancer? Jesus Christ is my healer. Jesus Christ is the one who is healing. I'm not going to rely on any herbs, but I'll do what I need to do. And I believe that Jesus Christ is using some of these things to keep us healthy. Amen. Divine healing is sometimes God even showing you what to do. I remember there's a lady, I don't want to mention her name, but this lady had issues when it came to childbirth because of one or two uh, problems. Now, she, she had uh, uh, some difficulties. But as she was going online and just reading online, God directed her to a particular doctor. And this particular doctor was a specialist in, set in, in that particular problem she had that was causing her not to have children. Meanwhile, the other doctors did not know what to do about her situation. As soon as she went to that doctor, she had children. So this is a way God used or a, a method God used to open doors for her or to give her children. Sometimes God can just open your eyes to a certain herb, open your eyes to a certain spice, or like Hezekiah, to certain figs, and that will be a blessing. Hallelujah. So very powerful. Mushrooms, very important. Now, uh, there are also very important things before we move to the next i just have three for us today uh, let's see about three things for us today but there are so many we'll have uh, uh, other times we'll talk about these things but there are what we call super fruits now of course fruits you have to be careful especially if you have uh, uh, blood sugar issues but there are certain fruits that are very sweet and they help in every way they are also can uh, cancer fighting what are they pomegranates now wow pomegranates is even in the bible one of the blessings of the promised land was that there'll be pomegranates in the promised land now if a certain fruit or vegetable or herb is a promise is, is part of the promises god is giving to the children of israel as they go to the promised land now taking you to the promised land now in the promised land you have grapes means grapes are good of course, blackberries, blueberries are super. But you have onions. It means onions are good. Garlic, garlics are good. Leeks, I'm, I'm still looking for that. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I need to find that. Uh, or rather, I need to buy that. That's one thing I've not added yet to my, my diet. But pomegranates are also one of them. Pomegranates have been shown to help reduce, or at least I've read, that it helps reduce even... Uh, 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 tumors, breast, breast cancer. I mean, it, it, it reduces. I'm being careful so that no one will say I said uh, pomegranates uh, 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 heal cancer. No, pomegranates help to reduce the incidence or the effects of some of these tumors. Hallelujah. And the next thing, which is even more powerful, is sour sap. Now, some will laugh at me, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Uh, there's a, a, a Ghanaian name. I'm originally from Ghana. There's a Ghanaian name they have for it. Ala Guntugui. I hope I pronounced it well, but it's Sawasap. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm sure people would have a field day with it uh, <laughs> as I pronounced it wrong, but nevertheless, you get the message. Hallelujah. But it's Sawasap. That is, that is one of the best fruits on earth. Hallelujah. Now, the next thing, so very important vegetables it is so important what kind of vegetables the greener the better but every type of vegetable you can think of very very good now uh, the next thing i want to talk about my time is almost up but the next thing i want to talk about would be being careful i think i mentioned it being careful of animal products especially red meat we talked about that now i the milk I use now is silk milk, almond, or it could be cashew, silk milk. Now, I've, I, I've, I can't remember the last time I've, I've drank cow milk. I don't drink cow milk any longer. 
of course, I can't force my kids not to drink it, but they re they, they have uh, uh, had, uh, 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 how do I say, they have prevailed and I've, I've, I, all I can do is advise them. But for me, I don't drink any cow milk. Uh, I have, um, my daughter has given me an example of the silk milk. So I drink silk milk. And the reason I don't drink cow milk is from what I know, from my research, so silk milk, almond silk milk, very, very effective, very, very powerful. Hallelujah. Because almonds are very good. Now, almond milk. It's even better to even make your almond milk, which I'll start doing in the future, so that there'll be no preservatives. But almond milk is very good. Now, cow milk, I don't take it because of the proteins and the very high saturated fat. You see, animal saturated fat, cow milk saturated fat helps in acidity of the body. Ooh does not help the body hallelujah now some people if you really need to take some animal milk some people feel that goat milk is a good uh, uh, is good it's a better alternative to cow milk goat milk i i don't drink goat milk i'm happy with my silk almond milk or cashew but especially the almond but you can take goat milk which would be very good uh, hallelujah because that that is the best of the animal milk amen so what do I, what is my diet? My diet, of course, beans is very good. I eat a lot of nuts. Nuts are, have the HDL. Now, Dr. Joe taught me, one of the doctors taught me how to distinguish between LDL, HDL. LDL, L, lousy, H, happy. HDL, you need it to increase. So I, I don't just read, I also ask doctors before I speak. LDL is what you don't want. You and I must avoid LDL because it's the bad cholesterol. HDL, happy, is the good cholesterol. Now, uh, 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 um, wow, okay, very good. My time is running up. I've got a meeting. So I'll just finish. So very quickly, uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about the LDL and HDL. So uh, good cholesterol increases with uh, with uh, nuts especially macadamia nuts brazil nuts is very good but macadamia nuts are very very powerful hallelujah uh, i'm just gonna wrap up uh, let's see so almond milk and then finally because of time let me read proverbs 25 27 proverbs 25 27 very 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 important proverbs chapter 25 verse 27 It is not good to eat much honey. So for men, uh, so for, for men to search their own glory is not glory. So it is not good to eat, eat much honey. So it means that too much honey or too much sugar is bad. Now, ho, oh, cancer thrives on sugar, especially high fructose corn syrup. Our body is not designed to consume high fructose corn syrup so you and i must watch the total carbs not sugar total carbs and watch the high fructose corn syrup reduce it as much as you can because sugar is not good sugar i mean diabetes and, and, and tumors love sugar hallelujah so very very important and um so i believe that is all i have for today and do a lot of activity ever since i started this journey of healthy living I have been eating healthy or trying to eat healthy and now we'll talk about some snacks that will work I've also been trying my best I don't do it perfectly but to do 10,000 steps a day if I fall short 8,000 at least five to six times a day 10,000 steps and I try to do some resistance training can you get me my resistance band now that the COVID-19 shutdown is available I have 25 pound weight two of them and I have a resistance band so you can use it that's very very powerful and then doing as much walking as you can because activity helps I believe this is all I have uh, for today thank you very much for joining and uh, I believe that by the grace of God God would uh, uh, help us and keep us healthy I believe that we would have uh, uh, we will continue this uh, next time very soon. I'm sure another time this week. We will continue Hallelujah 
uh, very, very important, but uh, you and I need to know that God is the one who keeps us healthy, number one. Number two, God has given us herbs and uh, 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 vegetables, fruits, and certain things we need to keep healthy. Very, very important. So I hope that this has been a blessing to you. And remember that activity is so important. Activity. Keep walking, walking, do as much walking as you can. Even in the house, I've been able to stay in one place and do a lot of steps. I've not been able to do 10,000, but I've done about six to 8,000 steps just at home, just walking around, doing as much activity as you can. So God bless you once again, and thank you very much for joining. And I believe that uh, tomorrow, God willing, we will continue with uh, this very important thing. There are many, many topics, many, many things to learn about. Sometimes we'll talk about some of the different spices and the effects of them, tea, some of the different things, uh, even weight loss. So many, many things that God has in store for us. God bless you and shalom. I pray that God will be with you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord Jesus cause his face to shine upon you. May he lift up his countenance upon you. May he give you peace. The blessings of the Lord, may the blessings of the Lord which make peace or which make peace and add no sorrows, which, which gives prosperity and add no sorrows be your portion. May you be blessed in everything you do. May you be blessed as you are at home. May you be blessed as you go out. May you be blessed in every aspect of your life. May you have good health, long life and prosperity. God bless you and shalom.